Everybody else is second. Everybody else is second. Now, if you got something that some charge to lay against me, like I'm sleeping around or I'm smoking or drinking or something, something, I mean, lay it on me. But I know it's a lie. So, so what I want to say is that the church needs to get about the business of doing church-like things. What should we be doing? We should remember, and this is where I was going, we should remember how we were. It says in verse 11, it says, some of you were once like that. Well, how were we? How were we? We were, we were, Worshipping idols, indulging in sexual sin, committing adultery, prostitutes, homosexuality, thieves, greedy, drunkards, abusive, cheated people. And then the word says, some of you were once like that, but you were cleansed. You were made holy. You were made right with God by calling. How were you made right? By calling I said, how were you made right? By calling, did you call on Buddha? Did you call, did you call on the mayor? Did you call on the governor? But it says, by calling on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and by the Spirit of our God. See, the reason that sometimes God tells me to just shut up and you know there are times when I have to and recently I've had to just stay at the house and I've sat in the same chair all day long and read scripture because I was mad about something the officers don't even know what was going on because God dealt with me God had me sit and read scripture all day. And then, and you know, it was so strange. I sat in the same chair all day long reading scripture. But that's because God was getting me in order. I had to re, 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 reassert my spirituality. I had to climb up on top of my pride. I had to climb up on top of my arrogance. I had to climb up on top of my ego. I had to climb up on top of my stuff. And that's what we all have to do. And we have to remember that God called us. I don't know what you used to do or where you used to go or who you used to be with, but God called you out of all of that. And God has made a way out of no way for all of us. I said God has made a way out of no way. I said God. See, God can work in your life in such a way. I'm talking about God. I'm talking about what God can. I've seen God do this. I've looked at my path and my path was all messed up. There had been a rock slide and there were boulders all in my path and all kinds of confusion and dismay and it didn't seem that I could get through. But God cleared the way. God made it possible for me to walk. God made it possible for me to witness and while you have the chance I said while you have the chance yeah I'm telling you I'm back don't mess with me because I'm back God is so good I said God is good and what I'm standing on not my ego I'm telling you it's not about me but it's about the God that I serve I'm telling you he's bad he's so bad he can walk on water he's so bad he can cause the dead to rise he's so bad he can cause the dumb to talk he 
he's so bad he can cause the blind to see I'm talking about Jesus I'm talking about Jesus I does anyone know his name have you tried him is he all right I'm talking about him because I've tried him for myself I'm telling you the Lord didn't bring me back for me to take no jump the Lord didn't bring me back for black folk to mess with me or white folk to mess with me but I'm telling you I stand in the authority of Jesus Christ I'm telling you that God has made a way the doors of the church are open there might be someone here today who has received this word and wants to join the family of Jesus Christ we just talked about it, it ain't perfect <laughs> 